Cicada Apocalypse 2024 is on its way. What makes this emergence so special? Let's get into it. Of the more than 3,000 species of cicada in the world, only seven are periodical cicadas, meaning they only show up every 13 or 17 years. 13 and 17 seem so random, and the simultaneous emergence of two different cicada broods like we're seeing in 2024 is super rare. But why? Let's answer that with some math. As you could imagine, waiting for years underground and emerging all at once allows periodical cicadas to overwhelm predators. Too many emerge to eat all at once. But why specifically 13 or 17 years? 13 and 17 do have one thing in common. It's the fact that they have nothing else in common with any other number. In other words, they're prime numbers. In case you don't remember what this means, a prime number only has two factors, one and itself. 13 and 17 are both prime numbers. They're not divisible by anything else. Scientists hypothesize that the uniqueness of prime numbers such as 13 and 17 prevent life cycles of major potential predators from perfectly aligning with these little cicada protein packs. If a cicada brood emerged every 12 years instead of 13, for example, it could easily align with the emergence of a predator on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, or 12 year cycle. 12 is divisible by a lot of numbers. This would totally increase the odds that a predator could take full advantage of the species. With a prime number like 13 or 17, the only overlap with emergence of potential predators can happen when predators emerge annually or every 13 or 17 years. That's interesting, but it brings up another question. Why are some cicada species on a 13 year cycle and others are on a 17 year cycle? Why don't they use the same prime number? Well, the prevailing idea is that having different emergence time spans introduces an additional level of specialization for a cicada brood, so they don't crowd into each other's business very often. How do we know this happens only once every 221 years? Well, what's 13 times 17, my friend? That's right, 221. This is actually happening in 2024 with broods 13 and 19. And with an overlap of only once every 221 years, the opportunity for individuals from broods 13 and 19 to interact with each other is pretty rare. I mean, Thomas Jefferson was president the last time broods 13 and 19 emerged together, so it really doesn't happen too often. Want to know more about these fascinating exoskeletals? You can subscribe by clicking here and check out the next video right here.